Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I'm going to continue with my mini-series of going to take on some of my favourite monster matchups, but swapping over the weapon to something else, and this time I've got the dual blades with my favourite bow matchup being Nagakuga. And to add some extra spice, since it is dual blades and they're very very strong, decided to go with the special investigation version, and I'm using double dogs. For those that don't know, I usually run double cat with dual blades specifically, just to get that extra like safety net of healing because one of my cats brings healing bat, the other one has actual healing. So, it works out pretty well in that end, in that sense, I guess. Interesting start, that's alright. I did end up uh, running a no weakness exploit set for this one. Really? I didn't enrage you yet. There it is. Weird, it usually only does one attack out of, like, the opener. That's alright. Um, but yeah, he's got, like, one hit zone that we're actively going to be aiming for that's actually above the uh, 45 requirement to activate weakness exploit. So I figured it's probably better. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why? Okay, my camera is like straying down on its own. I'm not sure what it's doing. But that's all right. It's not too disruptive to uh, y'all at least, but it's very, very irritating for me. <laughs> Just having this camera slowly pan in a certain direction. It's like not even a, a fixed direction. It's just any direction, but it's all right. Looks like it stopped. Oh my god, <laughs> it jumped right on top of me, mate. It's alright. Get some more damage. Get out of there, because he jumps. Yeah, it sweeps. I'm a little concerned that we're not going to meet the check. Just because he's been kind of stupid. Okay, never mind. I thought we were doing way less than that, but apparently we're fine. Because uh, it was very, very weird that he's like... Yeah, let's do every evasive option possible, and then keep hopping around afterwards, but it's fine. You can also break the arms, of course, to get some extra topples. Face works. But uh, yeah, if we can break these arms, he'll fall over, but we lose the elemental hit zone, which is unfortunate. I think it's like a 35. It's very, very crispy on those cut wings there, but it's fine. Make do without it, in all honesty. Ooh, okay. Still hopping away. Is he doing insta-bite? No. I wish there was an actual tell for whether he does that. While he's exhausted, he can do an instant bite forward. And, uh, it's very... I think there is a, a cue for it, but it's so subtle that I can never seem to see it. Where he just hops forward and bites you immediately while exhausted. Really annoying. Because, uh, you go to approach him when he slips and slides, obviously. Because he's exhausted, you're like, oh, I get an opening. But nah, you don't actually get an opening because he can insta-bite, and then it's real bad. Ooh, Quills. Quills is good. Stands there for a while. Yep, that's fine. Tail slams. If you go with him, you should dodge it. Try break this arm. There's also a zit on it, which would be nice. Oh, that's his finishing attack. So we can spin if I was to aim it properly counter away so I don't get hit because there was no way I was dodging that manually but I guess I could have tried to dodge into him I've done it before but it's a lot more consistent to just use the wirebug resource instead of using the wirebug resource if I miss because obviously if I get hit I can wirebug recover but either way the resource is getting used if I don't dodge it properly fine he's doing his thing another one and that should be the final one he did the jump beautiful love when he does the jump because it's a lot easier to re-approach him. Because otherwise he has like a massive hitbox on his like patrolling forward one where he spins around. It's not great. Yep. I think that's insta-bite. Nah. See, it's annoying. There's very, very subtle hint as to if he's going to do it or not. And he only does it off that slide. Doesn't do it otherwise. Where he like insta-bites forward. That's fine. Okay, stopped at one. Random topple, let's go. Lad's kind of getting bullied. Which, again, is why I put it on a special investigation. Dual blades are just very, very oppressive. Chase him down. Again, he can't do that insta-bite because he was not sliding. So I knew he'd have to do some kind of wind-up for it. Ooh, another topple, let's go. We take those. Very crispy. Get in all that extra damage. Uh, probably should have taken auto mount off 
Dual Blades does a lot more than the Warpangs on their own, so... Oh well. It's fine. Just get the Warbang damage in. Will give me back both my wire bugs, so I guess there's that, but really wasn't that much of an issue. Let's do plenty without it. Into another one. I aimed it towards where he'd get up there because I figured he would recoil a tiny bit. Which he did end up actually getting staggered, so we take those. Um, he's bound, so this is a... Yeah, I guess he only does it once then if he's bound. Interesting. Okay. Odd. Does he have an interaction where if he's bound he can go into exhaust? Like, single exhaust state? Yeah, look at this! So if he's bound he can only do one tail swing. Or tail slam. Interesting. But he can also do tail slam off rip now. That's fine, we went past him. Get off the ledge, so we don't get ledged. Doing jump again? Yeah, jump! We broke it with like two damage, we take those. I should just wait, in all honesty. Like, very, very low chance that you're gonna grab his face off that. I feel like that's insta bite. No? Man, I, I really wish there was a better cue for it. But that's alright. Got him down. Yeah. yeah. If that was not special investigation, he would have died a lot faster. So, I'm glad I did that now. And no weakness exploit came in clutch too. We still almost got to like 300 on a lot of those spirals, which is insane. But we definitely, definitely take those. And I think after this, we've got two weapons left to actually do um, do this like mini series on. I think it's like Gun Lance and... Might be Lance. Might be Gun Lance and Lance, I think. Either way, I believe we've only got like two weapons left. As always, I know there's going to be someone that asks for the build if I don't show it, or even if I do show it, some people don't get here and then ask where the build is. But here is the build. The augments are pretty simple. It is a comfort dual blade set as well, so I remove Bloodlust so that I don't have to deal with negative health drain, which you would have noticed in the video. I'm using a Berserk 2 with two 1 slots that are actually being used. As you can see, it's two 2 slots, but I'm using level 1 decorations in them, that's what I mean. In here are the skills and decorations, of course, all the green numbers are from decorations. As I mentioned, this is a no weakness exploit set, so it can only get to about 90% affinity. Unless I was to add Bloodlust, but that would give me positive health drain and ruin this set, because I use this set on all my other ones. But if you want to just screenshot there, and there you can. But either way, that was taking another one of my favorite monster matchups and using a different weapon. As I said, I think I've got like two or three different weapons left. As always though, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.